right, let's do this. The fuck? What's happening? Watching a movie? Uh oh. The dark messenger returns. That rocked. Rocked my socks. See you in hell, evil magistrate. Whoa, stop waving that broom around. Oh, Nick, I didn't know you were here. Of course I'm here. What was that surreal show you were watching? What? What was that in her mouth? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Like, how young? Um, 10 years old? Then what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17. That's... 7... Teen. See, I'm a teen, not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. Wow. I wonder how fast... Okay, so that's interesting. So that means law school might be faster in Japan than it is in the U.S. Generally, the fastest you're getting out of law school in the U.S. then taking your bar exam, you know, whatever else, getting a license. Starting to practice would be 25, not 24, um, because it'd be four years of college and then three years of grad, grad school. Watch it with me. He's really cool, and it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. Gramps. Well, the Steel Samurai's over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time, but no one paid any attention to the Wright & Co. law offices. How am I going to pay the rent this month? It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. <laughs> Hello, this is Phoenix. Nick! Maya, what? It's still early. It's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai's got arrested! Huh? You mean the guy on that show? Like, on the show, or...? Yes! They're saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Um... Isn't that what he's supposed to do? <laughs> right? Yeah, on TV! Yeah. On TV. Why are we having this conversation? No, I mean, he actually did it in real life. Oh, shit. He skewered a villain with this samurai spear. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office quick. Please, Nick. Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids show The Steel Samurai Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. He was arrested on the suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer. Who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. This has to be a joke. No, no, no! It's a nightmare! The Steel Samurai is over! The world is over! That's just the phone, Maya. Relax. Yes, right and kill offices. What? Nick, it's the Steel Samurai! What? Yes, yes, of course. We'll be right there. Let's go, Nick. Go? Go where? They have the Steel Samurai down in detention. So what? So I've decided this will be our first case. Well, I mean, technically it's not my first case, but... Oh my! <laughs> she had the same fucking reaction that I did. Will Powers, our client. That's him. 
Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but he definitely did it. Murder. At least once. Maybe twice. <laughs> um. Yes? Something wrong. N no. N no, no. This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? Disappointed? N oh, no. Oh, no. No. Yes. No, no. No, it's okay. This is the real me. Nick. What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah. He didn't do it. Maybe you can start by telling us what happened. Yes, of course. Seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. The gas had come down from Global Studios for a run through. We went through a few action sequences at 10, a 10 a.m. that morning. There was a rehearsal scheduled for 5 in the afternoon. But when 5 came around and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. They took off the mask and discovered that it was Jack Hammer, dead. He had been expertly skewered with the samurai spear. Samurai spear? Yes, it's a long spear that I that the Steel Samurai uses as a weapon. Maybe you could explain to me just what the Steel Samurai is. Nick, how could you say such a thing? I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? No, it's all right. Really, I wouldn't expect a 24-year-old man to know what the Steel Samurai is. Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kids' show. He walks the streets of neo old Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. But um, bum Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studio at 9. We worked through some action scenes until noon. First was to begin at five, but I was a little tired. But after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after five. I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. Were you sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder? Some action hero. What will the kids think? <laughs> I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right, Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Wow, Nick, let's go. I'm willing to bet ten bucks she asked for autographs. Wow, so this is where they make the Steel Samurai show. Or, made the Steel... That's made the Steel Samurai sword there, Maya. Awesome. Aren't you excited? Hey, you there. You want in? You gotta go through me. Oh, sorry. We're... Um, lawyers! You are not a lawyer. Oh yeah? Well, that's great, I'm security! It's my job to make sure that gawkers like you stay out! Gawkers? Gawkers, sightseers, tourists! I know the type! You heard about the incident and came to snoop around! You today, something horrible happens and all you blah 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 waste you got and you know what you have a job, do lawyers not right to left and you become a lawyer too, sounds like a life to ease moving off the- It was done like this for my different mind, you hippie clothes, what are you today, son, hippie co- <laughs> Um, Nick? Will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't know, it's possible. God. Hey! This is what we have been spoken to you today. So what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days... No, you were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Wh wow, this place has really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago, now that that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too, he was. Hammer? The victim, dummy, Jack Hammer, the evil magistrate. He's been reduced to playing villains now. He was reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid. But don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on that silver screen without him, believe me. Little old ladies watch him lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. 
We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers, of course he's guilty. How do I know I know everything? That's my job. To be old. That old people know everything. What kind of person was Jackhammer? What kind of person? Oh, if only you knew. Jackhammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. Should I have heard of that? But there was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to playing the villain on a children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts, enough to make him cry. Yeah, try me. Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is a killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from 1, one to, in the afternoon to 5 when they found the body. Now, the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. But Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Then I... <laughs> I had an onion on my belt, which was the style at the time. God, just why are these things that people say? Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along, move along, sir. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Power's request. Hmm, I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request. Maybe I'll just let you in. Does this lady here think she owns the place, obviously? Mm, hello, I was at the studio. They all think I did it, don't they? No, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Mr. Powers, you aren't hiring any, hiding anything from me, are you? What? No, I never do that. Earlier, you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. But the security lady says she saw you that day. She says you were heading towards the scene of the crime. Dog, you don't accuse your client like that. <laughs> What? That's not possible. At least I don't like doing that. I I know that's something you can do, but I hate taking that approach. You said this, but really this happened. No, relax. I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business and I need every advantage I can get. I know what I'm I'm sorry, but I swear to you, on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me. What did she see? He doesn't seem to be lying. Um, about the security guard at the main gate of, to the studio. Oh, the security lady? She's terrible. She called me suspicious looking. Yes, actually, she said the same thing to me before. Take off that, take off that mask, were her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the big wigs at the studio. We'll let her see you stumble once, and she'll never look at the up on you. Blah, I can't talk. But she's got some nerve. Oh. Do you think you could write up write up a letter formally requesting my representation? That's interesting. Normally, we write the letter. Of course. I just hope this will get me past the security lady. Oh, I gotta present the letter. Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm, yes, yes, I recognize the bold, childish scrawl. God, man, she's just awful. I think he would entrust his face to use of such unreliable appearance. Really? Uh, really? Anyway, you may pass. But only left from here, towards the studio. Not, don't go to the right, that's the employee area. No one allowed inside, pal, were my instructions. The good detective told me himself. Oh, God. Hey, hey, Nick. Huh? There were maps in the security guard station. Hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents apiece, thank you. Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents. Uh, we can't really afford this expense right now. Oh, hey. Aren't you that murderer from the other day?
It's that confused detective! Hey, pal, you know the prosecutor, you know, Ed, Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset and it's your fault. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window. Um, so fucking what? <laughs> he probably does that anyways. Hey, if he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. Ah, oh, fuck me. Um, detective? I think you hurt his feelings. Even she didn't realize, like, oh shit, I didn't mean to fuck him up that badly. Oh no, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey, don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Um, well, we're on this case too, pal. Oh, hey, you can't just go around saying pal like that. That's my endearing character trait. I'd say he's a character, all right. So, how is your investigation going, detective? Well, it's... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal. Nick, maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. Right, so detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? The autopsy report, the latest version, if you please. Mm. Right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. 2.30 p.m. Pierced through the chest by a spear. Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Civil, pal. The murder took place. The, the murder took place right over there in Studio One. Now, the victim entered Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no other, no one other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2:30 p.m. Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2:30, and that person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, pal. If you think I'm lying, ask security lady at the main gate. Nick, if that's true. Anyone would think that power did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. I'm about the security, you up. the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady. What a charmer. Oh God. Huh? Are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Ha 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 ha. Remember what Power said? She's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable for uh, valuable evidence. What? What kind of evidence? Well, that uh, photo. The photo of the seal samurai heading towards the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See the camera up there at the gate, pal? Gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah. Whenever someone walks by, the camera automatically snaps a photo of them. Oh no! Nick, he has evidence. We're finished! Oh my god. <laughs> Funny, for someone who had a hard proof who doesn't look too happy. What's wrong, pal? You seem down. You don't look so happy when you say that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Um, we'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure thing, pal. Go over what you like. Of course, you're not going to find any clues I haven't found already found. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go. We've got a free pass to the place. Now's our chance to check things out. Nick, look. The security lady is in the guard station stuffing her face with donuts. I guess all cops like their donuts. Yeah, and they're soft enough she doesn't need to chew them to chew. She doesn't need teeth to chew them. Hey, you! Well, are you satisfied? Power's guilty yet? Ugh. Gotta make my life harder by giving that photo to Detective Gumshoe. Why didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Oh, that. I just thought it would be worth really to talk with the detective himself. These things are important, you know. Oh, just to the left from here is the game with the camera and took the photo. It's my job to check the photos every day, you see. This guard station is in a central position. No matter where you go here, if you pass by my station first, unless you were to jump the fence behind me, but you know, who the hell would ever do that? Now poor Hammer, he went to the studio just before one o'clock. Murder happened right around 2.30, see? You know what I see go through here between one and 2.30 was Powers himself. Security camera got a good look at him too. He's not the one who did it. I don't know who is. Maybe it was you. <laughs> Good one, Sonny. He thinks I was joking. Was the victim, Mr. Hammer, a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was past tense? Well, yeah, he's dead. That's why it's past tense. Oh, yes, he was great as the bearded samurai. That too, yes. He's shown the brightest back in the day, making a star like him play the evil magistrate. It's a disgrace, I tell you. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? About the security camera. 
Oh, yes, the camera. It's automatic. You can tell when someone walks through that gate, you see? And it snaps a photo. What a fucking terrible camera. It snaps a photo? It doesn't just constantly take footage? Apparently, it records the time. Time when it takes place. The fucking cameras at a convenience store will constantly be videotaping something. And you're telling me this camera at this movie studio, all I can do is snap photos when someone walks by. I don't bother much over those details. I just view all the photos on a computer over the security guard station. Check them every day before going home, I do. This is where they do all the behind the scenes stuff. Hey, look, there's Powers' dressing room. No one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. Really? They just tape his... Isn't he like a mainstay and they're taping his name on a piece of print paper? There's a bit of T-bone on one of the plates minus the steak. Hmm, T-bone steak. That would have hit the spot. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks. Impressive. Door of the dressing room is not locked. Hey, Nick, let's take a look inside. Oh, we can go in the dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping. Or at least, this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right, there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth, for his sake. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap here yesterday. Hmm? This must be Powers' bag. Hey, don't open that. Look! Oh god, I told you not to fucking open that! An employee key card. That must be Powers. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it. You mean borrow. I wonder what else is inside Powers' bag. Stop that! My partner, the thief in training. Just a little liberal in what she believes belongs to her. That's the security camera. It takes photos of people on the station. All you have to do is look at the data and you see who went where. There's a number plate on it on the camera. ST1307. Must be the camera ID number. Studio mascot. It's kind of a, it's a monkey of some kind. What kind of monkey has a nose like that? It's holding a sign in his hand. Right, Studio 1. That's Studio 2. That thing, it looks kind of busted. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday and the head broke off. That seems odd. Took that tree down with it, too. What is it? You're really quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape, it's so real. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Wow, look at the camera. That must cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought. Oh my god. Hey, you, uh, hey, uh, hey, you no touching that. Uh, um, sorry, my partner's kind of, you know. You know, no, I don't know. You know, you know. Um, who are you? Who, me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff. Moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Willpower. Stop calling yourself a lawyer. Oh. You're WP's people. WP, oh, Will Powers. WP, I get it. Thanks for spelling that out. I don't envy you guys one bit. But you do what you can for WP, okay? Dub P. He never heard a fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry, leave it to us. Did you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes. I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studio's doing so well right now. And yesterday only was and yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. Oh, I see. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. WP and Hammer were there, along with everyone else. The employee area, that's where Power's dressing room is, right? Oh, wait, that's where Power's dressing room is, right? Yeah, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw WP go into his dressing room. I didn't see either of them after that. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? 
No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private. What kind of girl would, what kind of girl do you think I am? Kind? No, no, no. I'm sure you're a fine girl. I'm sorry. So much for getting confirmation of Power's alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If WP was the only one who came into the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Hmm. I'm sorry. I know you're busy. Not really. <laughs> yeah, not really. Whatever. Actually, there's something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about. A clue! A lead! Well, I don't know about that, but that day just afternoon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yes, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run-through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. Really? But wait, if someone had come in here, what if that security lady had noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spots. The outline for Jack Body's hammer lay in tape. His body was found still inside the magistrate's, evil magistrate's costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Why was he in the costume? I thought the thing wasn't until five. Why would he already be in costume? They weren't in costume earlier. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Well, I expect the spear stabbing would leave at least a few blood stains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. Oh, are you still here? Really? You look as though you see a ghost. Yeah, every time I see you. <laughs> you get it? Because she's old. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I want to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? The estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30. Are you sure that Powers is the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone else. Who thinks there was him. Sounds like a strong statement. I think there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were the you were here watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Eek! Alright, you better tell me you tell me quick, you spiky head cretin! Cretin? Cretin? Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Uh, um, we were just talking to the assistant studio one- uh, Don't fucking rat her out like that, Maya! God, Maya's such a snitch. Huh? She's not even a four-time employee! Oh, you youngins are like that nowadays, running your mouths like Tom Rowell saying this and that. Well, I was young, I knew a thing or two, I respect your elders. Shame on you, you- Grrrr! <laughs> she left! Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. <laughs> Computer that runs the studio security studio. To studio security. Nick, maybe we can see that photo of powers within this computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Yes. All right, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick? What, computers? Looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Let's see, first I need the day of the murder. Looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. 1 p.m., that was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. She's in the number of the security camera. Hey, printed out the data for, the, for that day. Let's see what we got. Huh? How is this a picture of real powers? Oh, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine that detective was very happy with this photo's evidence. Hmm? Something printed out on the back. Hmm? October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number two. What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day? Nope, that's the only one on the computer. Powers photo added to court record. Hey, hey, Nick. Can't we use this photo's evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security later in her place with this. Right, we'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. 
spy, you could be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Because you're a lawyer, silly, and all lawyers are villains! Relax, it was just a joke. So, are we done for today? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Really? That's all you needed? Alright, case closed, I guess. We got this photo that we can't identify the person in. Yep. Yep. We're good. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady? Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. I already agree with you. Very well, I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well, I call the most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. We all know how credible this dipshit is. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir, I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run-through of their action scenes during the morning. This is the main gate to the this is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Past the security station, there's a gate, see? Past that are the studios. Here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder, where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. Victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers. The young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. That's really all three people? Okay. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now jump ahead to that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform, re blah, perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. Samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. Area of law do I practice? Uh, I focus mostly on immigration and entertainment now, um, but I used to be more of general practice. I did like divorce, which is the worst, by the way. Um, I said I don't do criminal earlier, but I've done some criminal before, and that that's that. Those have only been like in essentially in like situations where I did somebody a favor um contract small business uh intellectual property there's I mean there's you know I, I guess it'd be easier to say like I haven't done like stuff with insurance I haven't done stuff with uh personal injury um I haven't, I, well, no, actually I did do a case that involved, that was constitutional based. Yeah. I guess that, yeah. Well, I guess I have. That was an interesting case. There are some cases that you'll win, but then you won't win because there's, uh, the, the damages that your client wanted can't be granted. Very interesting situation where you're like, yeah, we won the case, but the judge wouldn't give us what we wanted. That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Should I listen to that whole thing again? Why are they not going to let me listen to it again? I mean, I'll listen to it one time, just straight through. Okay, so employee area. They did a dress rehearsal in the morning, main gate. That's what the security lady came in at one. 
If we go to the left is Studio 2. To the right, Studio 1. That's where the guy got murdered. Studio 2. There really, there really isn't anything in Studio 2. <laughs> 1 p.m. And then he was found at 3 p.m. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I think it's going to go rather poorly on this first day because we don't we have shit for evidence. So the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. This circumstantial evidence is absolutely the only question we need to ask ourselves. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Will the witness declare her name? No. Hmm? Why, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm all gawk. I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Ah, your name, please. Oh, dear, no need to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please. Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. Wendy Old Bag, dear. <laughs> These names are the best. Ha! <laughs> with the last name Old Bag. Old Bag. Oh, that's funny. She actually acknowledged that. Maybe there was this boy that kept in chase called me Old Bag. So I just cried cry. I actually want to hear. Don't object to that. I want to hear all of that story. Um, objection. I object to the witness talkativeness. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting a good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, he was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. Sure is one hell of an old bag. <laughs> on the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since the morning. I will have some errands to run that, run that morning. Anyway, it was 1 p.m. when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until what, 5 p.m. Now the murder happened at 2... No. Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me at 2, 2 o'clock p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. You saw the defendant then? Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Alright, what the fuck were you doing? What kind of errands? Oh, well, you know. Answer the question. Actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers observing, you know. That was- you weren't running errands then! You were literally there! Uh, observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? Whippersnapper, I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job. I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, I always watch Hammers run through. Always. Never miss one in all my years. Press here, present. No, that's Phoenix. You idiot. Sure is fit. Well, who was the man? Really, you should try not to get so excited at your age. You might strain something. Now, now, don't get your skeevies all up in a bunch. I'll tell you who it was. It was Powers, that man right there. Blah, 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 blah. Objection. Let me get this straight, old bag. Er, miss old bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag, is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course, it's just... Your mama teach you any sense, sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's powers, right? No, they can't. Um, 
Well, I mean, I wonder. <laughs> oh, I really do like Edgeworth. He's pretty awesome. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that does not mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. I, I know that! I was in Bort yesterday! Or maybe a hundred years ago, even. No one is in this quarters is confusing you with that, Miss uh, Witness. You're having trouble or calling her Old Bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Hmm, nosy old man! <laughs> nosy old man! Of course I have proof! What? Huh! Even Edgeworth is surprised? The prosecution would like to ask the old the, the witness. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. I was right to know everyone would be so nosy. You should be ashamed, all of you. Oh god. Anyway, I showed that photo of the young detective. He told me he showed me that uh, blah. He told me that this isn't is any good as evidence now. He didn't even give it a second look. Wow, old Windbay has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your proof then. I never said any. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning during the run through the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his leg. See, clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? That's a... So he had a he had sprained his ankle. That doesn't look like that's what the photos tell me. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's gotta be hiding something. I'll press, I'll press her until she squeals. Thank you for telling me how to play the game. Game? Trip and fall? Yes, and I think of it, he's supposed to be the Steel Samurai. What a laugh. So Power sprained it, so, so Power sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. Let's just skip over that part, shall we? No, Your Honor, I want all of the- I'm just kidding. Where was the assistant then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Power's ankle. Hmm. You may continue your testimony. He broke one of the props. This is a big mess. He broke a prop? She heard in his own samurai spear. The samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. I'd better write this down on the court record. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. How do you know that? Was Mr. Power's ankle sp badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Thus the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot? Okay. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is? Where is this Steel Samurai costume now? Um, hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the Steel s The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes. It is clear that this person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm, I suppose that's Edgeworth doesn't trigger me in this game. Edgeworth is doing his job. Edgeworth is doing exactly what Edgeworth is supposed to do. The person that triggers me most in this fucking game is this just terrible judge. Absolute trash. Hold it! You keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? 
The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. So if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be this steel samurai who did it. Mr. Rot, you may cross-examine the witness. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody's suspicious looking past by at all. Nobody's suspicious looking, right? We'll just speak to it. What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before 1 p.m.? Why, well, everyone was in the employee area before then. I locked the main gate so no one could get in. You know, that four-foot main gate that absolutely no one could ever jump over themselves because no one in this town is athletic enough to be able to do that. I think all we can do is press her. Are you sure? That was not the question. The witness has answered that question. Yeah, Edwards is right. Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let him have it, edgy boy. Edgy boy? Ugh. Old Windbag sure has balls. Oh, well, you know what I mean. Old Windbag, Windbag has, uh, Old Windbags have a way of skipping over important details, after all. Or for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How oh, convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps? Objection. I don't know. Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, Sonny. So whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture? And here is how you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer of the guard station records all the security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work in the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed uh, are printed the words October 15, 2 o'clock p.m., photo number 2. Even I know that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October 15. Really, study? Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number 2. Photo number 2? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it really was the only photo? <gasps> order, order. Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one but two people went to the studio that day, yet there's only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access, the security lady herself. <laughs> Me? You watch your mouth, whippersnapper! The only person I saw that there was Will Powers! But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Uh, well, yeah, that's what it would seem to me. Can the witness explain this to the court? Oh, man, I, I understand these newfangled computer things. Oh, uh, boy, help! Uh, believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Hmm. Some help you are. You're a whippersnapper, too! Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Old Bag. Oh, that's right! I, I just remember something! Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate, someone other than the Steel Samurai. Oh, well, yes, I suppose you can put it that way. Oh, no, the second funnel! <gasps> I see. Your testimony, please. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go, through I go through the photos recorded on a security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't looking, su that aren't suspicious looking, you see? Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. This Miss Old Bank, this is the first I've heard of this. Oh, well, of course, Sonny, I only just remembered it. <laughs> but this shouldn't be held against me at all. Right, anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces for the most part. For the most part? 
This is a murder trial, Miss Old Bag. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking Will Powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Huh, a fanboy. Fanboy? You know, samurai fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about, one was there that day. Wait a second, did you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one- I locked the main gate so no one can get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. The drain has been loose for a while. It leads outside. Well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain. I told you they're freaks. Oh, and... And? They're kids, children, whippersnappers. Kids? She thinks everyone younger than her is a kid. It's on the photo that you erased. It was a boy, probably second or third grade. What? Order, order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was the steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Oh yes, well we see his type there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade. I assume it would be hard if not impossible for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Oh, I'm sorry, your honor. Do I remember you holding it yourself or having you having anyone tell you how heavy it is actually? Or are you just making a gigantic assumption? Right, as I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Now, um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Although I'm sure it will be, as it is every time there's a witness on this stand. Mr. Powers? Yes. Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping, honest. So who was the Steel Samurai in that security photo? Oh, should I know? Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should have... You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a Steel Samurai costume. So... Where does that leave me? Fucked. It doesn't look good. <laughs> You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! What are we going to do? First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could have conceivably have done this. Right. And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right. But if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not at optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. What does that mean? Please don't say like that. <laughs> court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence, but there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Very well. Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim, obviously. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Order. Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right, great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So who is this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the murder? This judge is the worst judge. Can't believe somebody came in and was like, getting mad at a fictional character. I'm like, uh, yeah. I guess when I go to a movie, I just have no emotions towards the characters at all. 
When I read a book, I have no emotion towards the characters at all. All these fictional characters. When I play a game, I have no emotion towards these characters at all. And I enjoy every second of not having any emotion towards any of these characters. Weird. It was the security lady, Wendy Oldbag. Who? Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. It means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, Old Bag. What? Whippersnapper! Order, order. Uh, is this true, Old Bag? Old Bag, that's Miss Old Bag to you! This old bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she had she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the Steel Samurai costume. Then slipped in the studio one, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? Simple, your honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the, fig the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Riot. Fucking judge. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes the second, baby. That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it, is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there, do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this the whole way? Give Granny a break. Fuck that. The very same reasoning that may, makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. But why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? That head shake. You forget that Mr. Powers likes a clear motive too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute. What about the other person who went to the studio? Your boy, the one whose photo I erased. He's only a grade schooler though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? It doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man in 10 seconds tops. Hmm. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What, how can you be so sure? Or is it, is it, or, or is it be nice to the kids and mean to your elders day, whippersnapper? I have proof. Proof! Indeed. Then let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder? The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. However, you need a card key to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a card key? I see. Well, the witness, would the witness care to comment on this? Mm. The windbag, speechless, this has gotta be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy. What was her name? Something old bag, your honor. <laughs> then, the prosecution, then, the, then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. This court is adjourned. Wait a second! I'm not going to just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me! I'm talking. I love that face. Oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. Miss Obag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Not to talk about by whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, testify. And that doesn't cast any type of doubt on her credibility at all, right? Ah, Lobo Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been to the studios that day. But if you're going to accuse me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Miss, Miss Oldbag, this is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? 
Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. <laughs> Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Why? You were told not to talk? That's right, by the studio and the TV big rigs, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? Don't be too hard on yourself, shall we? We're all in on it. There is some other people. Alright, so who? Who are those people? These people. Well, the director, the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run through of their action scene without a director? Of course. Yes, well, I'm surprised no one asked about it. I would have. So where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run through. He joined the producer on lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, the Studio 2 trailer. Studio 2? There was a Studio 2. Yes. Yes. We talked to Gumshoe about that. Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path through the monkey's head was, fit, fall, was falling over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... Let's just... Miss Old Bag, this is a trial for murder. I know that, Shelly. Still, they're pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. Hey, so, I was paid to conspire to keep evidence from the court, you see. <laughs> they were actually in the studio? Yes, the whole day. When they heard about the murder, they beat it before the cops came. <sighs> I'll kill this woman, I swear it's... <laughs> I feel sorry for Edward. Almost. She really left him hanging on this one. That was for a different line. Well, Mr. Rot, would you like to continue? We have learned there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and some big ones were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. This court is adjourned. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Oh, really, it's nothing. He wasn't fucking talking to you, he was talking to me. Oh, or should I? We'll be going down uh, we'll be going down the studios to do some more investigating. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. And now's my chance to get material for the cross examination. So Nick, have we figured out just who was it that was in the who was in that steel samurai costume? Could it really have been Ove Windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor windbag. I kind of feel sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there, with or without my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right. We'll be back to visit you soon. Thanks. Thanks, guys. I feel so bad for him. Ooh, what a day. Why is your mouth white? It's just a white void. This is no time for relaxing, Nix. Say, you think WP's got a chance? I guess that really depends on the people we found out in today's mist about in today's trial. The director and producer. Yeah, them. Well, what are we going to do? What are, what are we doing here, then? Let's get to the studios. No one's here. Right, now that they have Mr. Miss Oldbag in custody, I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey, in the guard station, look! She left her donuts! What? I wasn't going to eat them. Hey, Nick, it looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. He's probably up to his neck in paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. 
So, Nick, remember that Studio 2 we heard about at the trial today? It was down that path at the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. Now's our chance, Nick. Let's check it out. This is Studio 2? I thought so. It doesn't really look like, m much like a studio, does it? No, that it does not. Hey, there's a trailer over there. Looks pretty sturdy for a movie set trailer. Are you sure this is a studio? Looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate T-bone steaks too. What is it with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. But something does seem out of place. What? I don't know. It just feels odd. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Nick, you don't have a driver's license. You license to practice law, but you don't have a driver's license. Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? Look, it's that assistant girl. Hey. Hi, WP's lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Great job, guys. Oh, 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 oh. don't mention it. Is it true they caught the security lady? Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. Actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up that drain. You mean that one? Whoa, what a mess. I, I know. I'm not so good with handiwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and the backdrops, right? Right. Just lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fixed them. Oh, oh, well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right, I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. Um, if you excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to feel in from his old bag. Right, see you later then. Good luck with your investigation. So the fanboy they were talking about in the trial day, he came in through that train. Though it seems, I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey, hey Nick, that train's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah, I think that was the idea. You're kind of sorry for him though, don't you? What, you want to rip the grate off? Really, Nick, we can? You know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes? Hey, yeah! Yeah, that should make the kids happy. The things we do. Uh. Oh, hello. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you look a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of an alternative fa guard fashion thing. So how are the studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want me disturbing evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the steak bones left over on them in the play area? Yeah, can you believe it? Do kids sneak in here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping pictures. You should see old Windbag's eyes flash when she sees him. He has a bit of trouble catching him, though. Heard something at the trial day. They said that the director and producer were here the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see him. I guess they were here, though. The studio head seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. They were trying to protect the director. Or the producer, really. The producer's our real star here. He saved these studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd be we'd still be in business if it weren't for that producer. Producer, huh? Oh, Mr. Ray, thank you for earlier. Not at all. We got lucky to tell the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. So, WP, do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Mm, sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us if anything comes to mind, no matter how small. You can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Yes. Do fanboys sneak into the studios often? No, not that I know of. That security lady is pretty strict to them. But in today's testimony, didn't she say they were often hanging around? These kids really, really love the steel samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. 
Was, was the director present at the morning run through? Yes, yes, he was. He was directing how the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate should move. Just like a director would. Why didn't you tell us that before? Well, the studio asked us to keep quiet. They're, you're getting fucking. You're getting accused of murder. Why are you keeping quiet about this? It has nothing to do with this. I hate to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lawyer, fresh off the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. I see. Whose side is she on? You're not hiding anything else from us, are you? No, I sure hope not. Place is deserted. E Nick! What was that noise? It sounded like it came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. Hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be barging in. Oh, it's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No, but there's one cart probably in the guard station at the main gate. So what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it. If they'll let us. Oh, please don't touch anything in there. The security lady would knock the stuffing out of me if she knew. I really want the key to that trailer. Maybe next time. Oh, hell, yeah. This is Twain circa 2002. WTF, who are you dudes? Lamau. <laughs> huh, we? That is not a second grader. Wait, you first. Uh, wait, wait, you first, who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me. Well, whatever, lamers. How could you not know the great Salmonella? Sa- Okay. I make elite shows the Seal Samurai mind. RTFC. Read the film credits. Really? You're THE Salmonella? I'm so sorry. I just- You look so sorry. Uh, no, quite alright. Really? I'm s it's fine. Raffle. What is it? You know, a closer inspection. Ooh, yeah. Hot, hot, hot. <sighs> hey, did you do a lot of cosplay? Cause that costume rock soars. <sighs> rock soars? <laughs> rock soars? What? You're, hey, you're drooling. <laughs> oh, lol. Buffer overrun. <laughs> You triggered my creative powers! Yes, yeah, so that's as cool to be Pink Princess. The sequel to Steel Samurai, Pink Princess, Worry of Little Old Tokyo. Raffle Bow. <laughs> Pink Princess? Why's it gotta be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't it have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Bye, we really need to talk about cool. Oh god, we gotta talk to him for You notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I know who you dudes are. That security lady told you about us, eh? That's, that's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a run through for an action stay in the morning. We had a meeting for lunchtime in the Studio 2 trailer. <laughs> it was so busy I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch, sad face. A T-bone steak, was it? Yeah, suck sores. I hate missing out on food. Nick, what does suck sores mean? No idea. Anyway, I was in the waiting from noon until after 4 o'clock. Was the producer or some bootleg from the network? Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30 p.m. He's telling the truth. That meeting gives him an alibi. About the producer who was at the meeting with you. Oh, you mean D. Vasquez? She's a genius. Mad skills all the way. Scary, though. Uh, uh. She brought the studios back to the brink of destruction. Who's the one who made it possible for me to make the Seal Samurai? You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon till 4 p.m. the whole time. Who exactly are these big wits people keep mentioning? Well, the boss over at the network is up sponsors. Also, a few production guys. We piled into a limousine and got here right around noon. Major tension. 
for all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all gray-haired geezers. Ugh. Sounds like they'd all be re reliable witnesses. Why is he even in here? Well, that guy is interesting. Aha! You were good! Eek! How rude, acting like you just seen a ghost. You certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spare samurai, cost a samurai costume. Told me to put it on. Can you imagine? How could I? A sweet little old lady wear a giant shoe like that. Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. I guess that would rule out her being the murderer. Anyway. Know this, Ripper Snapper. This old lady never forgets a slighter insult. You won't get any information on me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Starting now. One, two, three. Mm. This lady's too much. All right, she's again. I'm taking him down. Nick, look at her eyes. She's serious. Both are directed to the one who's here the day on the murder. All right, she's again. I'm taking him down. Nick, I think she's losing it. Oh my god. Something that I'm missing. Ah. Hey. Hey, wait. But he came I bet he came in through that train. Hey, um, kiddo. What's your name? Sport I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. Oh, but you you are a kid. What a rude little brat. There's no way to talk to an adult. You're not an adult. I don't see no adults here, hippie fashion chick. Hippie fashion? Nick, I think I'm being mocked. You have to hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. I'm Cody, Cody Hackins. Call me kiddo again and I'll cut you down where you stand, evildoer. So you're a fan of Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that name, evildoer? What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai side. Ah, ha, ha, you can't fool me. Okay, then what's the last line said by the innkeeper in episode eight? Ha, easy, like some fries with that. Mm, not bad, kiddo. Watch it. What are they doing? Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? He, 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 always, the Steel Samurai always wins, always. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. But no way am I telling you losers. What? Wait, let me go. He's gone, huh? Something fell off the table when he bumped into it on his way out. A bottle? Why was this sitting here, I wonder? Sleeping pills. Anyway, what was that kid saying? <gasps> Somebody was drugged with some sleeping pills. He saw everything. Huh? Where's that old wind bag? I'd have heard, I'd have heard to leave her post. Hey! Nick, that was her. Stop! Stop, Ripper Zapper! Yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Ah! Uh-oh, she tripped. Maya sure looks happy. She does look happy. Hey, she fucking tripped! What a bitch! <laughs> I'm so glad she tripped. Hope she broke her jaw. Hey, Nick! Now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh! This is it, Nick! The trailer key. The key to that trailer in Studio 2. That's what I just fucking said. We're borrowing this, right, Nick? I wonder if the key we brought from the guard station will work. Can open. Great. Let's go, Nick. Seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Ah, uh, not that eager. Oh. Eek! Someone's in here. Names. Oh, n names. I'm um, with WP's lawyers, and um, I see. And who might you? 
Steve Vasquez, the producer. Wait, no, I don't want to give her a bridge. Steve Vasquez, she's quite beautiful. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Miss Vasquez? Script. Excuse me. Script. I'm looking for a script. A script? The Steel Samurai, episode 13. I need it. Um, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. We're getting nowhere fast. About the director, Sal Salmonella, was it? I wonder exactly his role here. Perhaps I'd... Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Yeah. Wait. Yes? Is Simonella given this? Why do we have to run your errands? I, I don't think I like her. Don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. Alright, we'll give it to him if we see him. Here, I got this from the producer. Huh? Read me the script for episode 13. Episode 13, where did I put that one? We must have left it somewhere. Ugh. Uh oh. My ass is pwned if I don't find it. Back to the scene of the crime. Let's see what we need and get out of here quick, Nick. There's the. There it is! Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. Oh, blah, blah, blah. The director, Maya. Take a look around that chair for me, would you? Remember that script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he left it here somewhere? Ah! Found it, Nick, the script! Good work. Here, we found it, your script. Uh huh. Um, uh, you're not going to talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. Just you hold on. What's the big idea? Who do you think you are, anyways? And, and do you even know who we are? Powers lawyers. Um, right. Am I a suspect? No, it's just, well, no, but. You wanted to know about the day of the murder? Yes. Anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know there was a meeting here at noon? Yes. With the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The path? On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked. You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head. Oh, right, that. What an original name. His head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after three. It was after four by the time the, black the path was unblocked. Capiche? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path is cleared. Stuck in this trailer, stuck until after four. Hammer died at 2.30, thus none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? It's true. A crane came just after three to move the head. He called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they corroborate my story. But wait, what if the fell what if the head fell over after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30, the time of death. Very well, come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time. It ooks. One ook per hour. Ook, ook, ook. Always with the ooking. I like her. Her, her speech is funny. Is a monkey, after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Nick, it stopped at 2.15. 2.15? That's right. This path was blocked from 2.15 until after 4. Therefore, we're innocents. Mr. Hammer died. Mr. Hammer died in Studio One at two thirty. See, goodbye. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. Sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. And now, I think we get, went back to the office to strategize or something. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. You don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. 
a little early for giving up, don't you think? Is that Mia? Oh, yeah. You've got one lead. Mia, it's you. What took you so long? Yeah, fucking spirit of a dead woman. What took you so long to get here? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. She's not even in trouble. The client's in trouble. Right. Oh, wait. I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What do you mean we have one lead? The boy, of course. I don't know. He didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I guess that means we should give up then. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studio. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks. Now I'm more worried than I was before. <laughs> oh god, here we go. <laughs> also me in real life. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Heart attack. Ripper Snapper! She's been chasing that boy this whole time. <sighs> we gotta catch. Yep, I... Sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. Powerful, powerful observation there, Phoenix. I got, I got a hostage now, Ripper Snapper! A hostage? What happened to the fanboy? Here I see him again! Uh, leave him flat! My, what a violent old lady. Actually, I met with the director just now. Ah, ha, my heart. I don't feel so good. Is she okay? Oh, before I go, I'd like to visit the place where Warhammer died. Right, she was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. What's this about a hostage? <laughs> that boy's running away. He dropped this in red. He'll huh. come back for this one. Kind of hard to understand her with all the huffing and puffing. Phoenix, the host that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we gave him that. Good idea. This old bag, might I? No! I'm catching up, right? The last thing I do! Phoenix, do you have anything that might you might trade with her? Trade? I wonder. Hey, that! That's a card! Studio One? Right, a card key to Studio One. I think we visit poor Hammer. I think we visit. He died. Woo! I was just a fan. You don't have your own card, Miss Old Bag? Studio One is in my turf. That seems weird. Let me borrow it then. If I give her the card key, then I won't be able to get in the Studio One. Uh, I don't think we need anything else from there. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Old Bag. This is to be sunny. I don't like having desks to no whippersnappers. You take this, we're even. Deal? What's this? A Steel Samurai trading card? I was thinking he had dropped it. I figured it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. I may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. Actually, a, a trading card. Those are several trading cards. But what do I know? I'm no math major. All right, I'm off. Hey! Hey, you, wait a sec! Phoenix, was that the boy? Yeah, his name's Cody Hackins. I think he ran into the dressing room. Sure to be in here somewhere. Found you! Damn it! He's getting away! Come back! Yeah, he's back. How did she. Hey there. Would you mind helping us out? Please? I. I'm, I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo! And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. Steel Samurai is so cool. I think he's, um, the bot. If you ever have to put something in quotes to sound cool, it's not gonna sound cool. This was extremely outdated in 2004 or whatever. Ah, what a labor like you know about Steel Samurai. Hey, watch that attitude. Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that, I'm only a kid. 
you know anything about what happened here? Can you tell me, please? I don't know nothing! Hmm. Looks like a little persuasion is necessary. Maybe a bribe? Cody, this does this look familiar? Liar! You are, huh? You are, you know, ultra rare. That card's really hard to get. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. I'll give you this if you help me. That's my card! If I offer me something I already own, you're in effect! It's just... <laughs> you think that their faces of our consumer society made them the principle of fair trade! Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb! Man, I give Cody credit. I wasn't expecting that. What do, what do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? Whatever, I don't need that card. I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went through all that trouble. You want to trade? Find me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on. Cash grabs. For the car trading card companies. Man, for growing up, you sure are dumb. Premium rare. Why do I feel like we're talking in stakes? Talking about stakes. Oh, hi. Hello, who brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um, yes? The, um, girl with you? Doesn't she seem a little different? Like, is she even the same person as before? Um, nope, she's the same as always. Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. You see that, oh, well, yeah. Beauty lady was chasing around the boys so fast I thought she'd collapse. Of course, he got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old one bag doing? She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fist back at the guard station. Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. Are all the posters on the wall here of Hammer? Yes, it's, a, it's really a terrible loss for the studios. But its popularity had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened... After what happened? You mean you don't know about Hammer? No, what? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. Wait. Now you have to tell me. You don't have to do anything. What happened with Hammer? I I'm I'm sorry. I'm probably, probably not the one who should tell you. Uh-oh. Why do I get the feeling something's being covered up here? Do you know anything about this? Hey, that's a Steel Samurai trading card. I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from completing the set. A complete set? Yeah, set of one of each card. Huh. Wait! Wait, 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 wait. That's it. That's the card I need. You don't know how long I've been looking for it. Uh, I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am. I need that card. Please, I beg you. Trade with me. Trade with you? Yes. Trade cards. Look, I'll even trade you an ultra rare premium card. Trade me up. Uh-huh. Yes, it's a good deal for your ultra rare. Please? Phoenix, can't you see she's desperate? What's everyone getting so excited about? Okay, okay. Really? Thanks. This is for you. Yahoo! And there she goes. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah, yeah, it does. See this card? Yes, yeah, so wait, that's it! This is the last ultra rare premium card I need. Come on, give it to me, please. You gotta give it to me. Oh, I've never seen him so eager. Right, okay, how about a trade? You're on. I'll give you a samurai spear and throw in an evil magistrate to boot. No, 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 not that kind of trade. I don't want cards, I want information. Like a real black market dealer. Huh, you sure? Fine by me. Okay, Phoenix, let's hear what he has to say. If he knows something that could help us, we can have him take the stand tomorrow. I know judges really don't like putting kids on the stand. You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody. Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? What an excellent motto. You have to help us fight for great justice, too. Man, this is so 2003 or whatever. For great justice. I, 
I saw... I saw everything! Well, well, we might get some useful information out of him yet. He's so cool! I guess. Just judging him by his looks, you have to look at his actions, at his life. I'm being lectured on life by a grade schooler. You like him too, don't you? Oh, me? Yeah. Yeah, life loves the Steel Samurai. It, so tell me your favorite thing about what the Steel Samurai is. Kind nature. Right, come on, think of something. I really like his um his kind nature. What a guy. Totally. He looks so tough, but inside he's as gentle as a kitten. Yeah. So what else do you like about him? Don't tell me I have to keep this act up. Tell me what's your favorite thing about this. I told you what his fucking thing is. Fighting skills. Got to think of something. I like he, 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 he vanqu vanquishes his foes. Yeah, with Sam. Steel Samurai's always wins. Always. Check this out. It's my fan album. What the? It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. Go through every live. I go to every live performance. Those stupid publicity stunts where they beat each other up in public. Always take a picture with the, when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Well, damn! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Check it out. My new digital camera. Wow, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? What the fuck would you do? Well, I guess she didn't die that long ago. You bet, lady. I got it. I just got it for my birthday, actually. Yeah, how does she know that? My album has a name. Want to hear it? The Steel Samurai Path to Glory. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with the, the digital camera. I got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. Well, then I'm happy to accept. Thank you. People always giving stuff to Mia. What a life. Cody, I need you to ask. I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here that day around two. I had to come in through the woods out back so the old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost though. I was in there for maybe a half hour or so. Then I finally got to the studio. After that, what is it, Cody? The Steel Samurai killed the bad guy. He used his, steel, his samurai spear, just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast, I got scared. I went home after that. I see. It must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you weren't speaking from the heart. Um, right. Mia? Yes? I think we can say for sure this means the steel samurai did it. True enough. The director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So, the only person left who could have been is Will Powers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him, then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Well, not so fast, pal. Fuck. I heard everything. This boy here is a key witness. And he's under police protection, starting now. Come on, son. You've got a rendezvous with me down the precinct. No, I ain't going. Wah! Whoops, that didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads, and their case is stronger than ever. Now we have a serious handicap in court. What are we going to do, Mia? Well, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave Phoenix. You have a good time. Bye. What, what if she just fucking left? <laughs> she just leaves, and you're just like, I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's funny. She was actually going to do that. Come to the trial room, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? I gotta believe. Of course he is. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. Oh, yeah, this fucking guy. Um, Mr. Wright. Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Oh, oh, no nothing. <laughs> uh, really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. Woo, that's a knee slapper. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. There's always time for a dead person to make a dead person joke. You know you're going into this trial utterly defenseless. 
Yet if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't gonna be easy. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Not really, but we'll do it anyways. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. Wait, another opening statement? Okay. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday we learned that there were other people present at the studios. They would like to sh show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. Or if it'll be that producer. The prosecutor calls Mr. Salmonella to the stand. Or that director. <laughs> Ugh, court. <laughs> Uh, will the witness state his name and profession? Uh, how rude could you get? You don't know me? <laughs> I'm the director. I'm the still samurai noob, Raffle. Sal, Salmonella. I'm a director of television. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yeah, yes, your honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix. Let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. Right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. Well, she's better than you. I was at the studios from around 9 o'clock that morning. During the morning, I was doing um, an action scene run through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. But here let everyone else say, well, that's really a point here. But I had a meeting in the Studio True Trailer. Well, I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4 o'clock. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in, the me in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Hmm, yeah, because Edgeworth definitely said he was done with his... He had no further questions, but, you know, first. Let's do you. Hold it! Is that when you always come into work? Oh, oh no, I come in all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I know all about the freaks in your industry. So, uh, I was pretty busy all that day, sad face. For what it's worth. You're right, although that might be a Japanese thing. The, the judge can ask questions, but it's generally not. Generally, it won't happen until after both attorneys have asked any questions and the judge wants to want something clarified or something that he or she doesn't believe was touched on. And it's normally only the case when there's a bench trial. You won't see the judge ask as many questions as I haven't seen the ju a judge really ask many questions, if any, that I can think of during a jury trial which makes sense because in a bench trial it's the judge making the decision ultimately right so the judge wants as much information as possible so the judge probably will take more of a lead in making sure that the judge knows everything that the judge wants to know during the morning i was doing an action soon the employee area that's right it was a flight scene between a still samurai the evil magistrate was anyone else at the run through Oh yeah, that security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing, lol. She was cheering on Hammer, if you can believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? Nope, just us four. Why did it go on so long? I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this, but WP twisted his ankle during the run-through, see? Oh right, that's the limp. Which of course led me to be missing my lunch roughs. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the court area. What exactly do they have for lunch? People's sake, the assistant cooked some up for that. I'm gonna think of it, there was a plate with some bones on it in the employee area. Everyone else meaning that the witness did not eat with them. Yes. Well, I had a meeting of Sui with two trills, so I have skipping lunch. So in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah. No mistake, at least. Could you believe it? That must have been tough. Ha ha ha! Ah, like that steak, right? Phoenix, 
Yeah? Does something about that seem odd to you? Yeah, it does seem odd that now that you mention it. Mr. Manella. The who? What would you what? When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates, the same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? Woof, woof. No, we're up. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat, after all. <laughs> a T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I believe the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I'd suspect as much. So when exactly did you eat it? We took one break during that meeting. I woofed it down then. <laughs> A mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a bit more. We were in the meeting until around four. What were you discussing? That's a little samurai story in our budget. Get this! The sponsor screwed me and said, Mr. Ranella, those scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. Could you believe it? Actually, I kind of can. So no one left the table during the whole meeting? Except for when they had a fucking break. You didn't take a single break. Uh, well, uh, yeah, not a one. What's he sweating so much about, I wonder? Oh, I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Wait a second, Mr. Manella, you've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate, ate the T-bone steak during a break? Oops, Ruffle. <laughs> well, um, Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, Edgeworth is laughing. What the fuck? What, what does he know that he can sit there and be like, <laughs> the break, huh? <laughs> yeah, pff, we took a break, Raffle. But it was only 15 minutes. 15? That's only 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say commit murder in Studio 1, lol. It's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. Hmm. I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well. You may begin the cross-examination. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Did you play T-bone steak? What else? There were two plates on the table. On that table. Oh, right. The other one was Divas. Sorry, D. Vasquez plate. D. Vasquez, the producer. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat and quite a waste. TBH. <laughs> See, I can abbreviate too. I have to say, you look like a guy who gets through his meals pretty fast. Well, it was basically a cool, tr slightly chewy T-bone steak. Even I have to take my time eating that kind of food, lol. Well, Phoenix, that, that testimony was too short to bring any kind of useful information out of. All you have to do is prove that he was able to go to Studio One in that time. Oh, great. Is that all? Oh. Aha. Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony at this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trail had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio at that time. Thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice again, but I see you at least had an inkling of truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. Yeah. 
The fallen Mr. M Mrs. Monkey had barred the way. At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. Ergo, when the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. Actually, Mr. Monkey, but Edworth has a point, and somehow I feel no desire to correct him. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. What? It's over? Very well, the court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that, all that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we do have decisive evidence. A witness. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the Steel Samurai skewered the victim. Yeah, it's the kid. Order. I will have order. I see. The court will take a ten minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. What do you do now, Mia? Everyone in that trailer is an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what do hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before, not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. People in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that, but I was wrong. That's all there is. Uh, what's gonna happen to me? Well, you're going to go to jail. Seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai. Here are two children everywhere, after all. Ah, uh, yeah, you. Thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Powers. Prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. Nice to see Edward taking his moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. <laughs> Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on? Oh, right. Gods, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Donut crates are just laying around? Who let him walk in? Wait, wait, wait. Which one of you idiots let this child walk in here with a weapon? <laughs> Will the witness state his name in grade in school? Witness! Good lord, dude. What? Just cause y'all grown up don't mean you can push me around. <clears throat> Cody? Answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins, I'm in second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <clears throat> Witness, I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present. Uh, you were at Global Studios on the day of the uh, incident. You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps the beard over there? Just Mr. Edgeworth will be fine. I prefer bearded gentlemen myself. <laughs> a very long day. Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. The sword is fine, though. I think it's a fake sword, though, right? Mm. My apologies, Your Honor. He said he would testify if he wouldn't, if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet, but I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You'd better make a note of it in the court record. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. 
I wanted to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the pass and that old lady wouldn't catch me. So that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way though for about 30 minutes. I came out by the studio. There was the Steel Samurai. It totally rocked, but right, right before my eyes out came the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow! If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get in the studio, so I went home. Mm, very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. But be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. Okay. Was that the first time you've been to the studio? Uh, actually, I've been, I've been a couple times. Never managed to get there on a rehearsal day. That security lady's always yelling. Right, right. Please continue. Chill, Pops. I'm getting to it. How am I supposed to talk when you cut me off all the time? Jeez. That's not the witness you want. Oof, no, 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 no. You want a witness that knows when to shut his mouth. With children, you will actually see judges take that kind of approach. Um, because they want it to be as smooth as possible, even though it's almost impossible because it's a courtroom, right? But you think Edgeworth would have had a better idea of how he should conduct his questioning, considering it's his witness. Went through the woods. Yep, okay. Off the path? Yeah, you know how the studios are in a the valley there. You go off the path a little, there's woods. That's where I was, see? Anyhow. Okay, tell me a little bit more about that. You got lost in the woods? Yeah, I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, I was relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But guess what happened next? Tell me about it. Steel Samurai? Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. Looked like he was thinking about something before going in. Then he opened up the gate and went inside. I see, what the? What sort of bad guy was it? Guy, person, kind of tall, skinny. You sure it was a guy? I don't know, he's kind of far away. He's awfully vague. What happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well, well he kind of didn't move, not a bit. Like he was dead. I guess he's a real pro. What a great actor. Yes, I suppose he was. If I had my camera with me, it would be a great camera. If you had your camera? You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time. Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out, he went home. Phoenix, remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Easy for you to say. Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? Oh my god. Huh? Huh? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Rod, a word with you. Uh-oh, was I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? It's, um, a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. What we get, right? How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody, I can't believe... I, I thought we are going to have a sidebar where we would all... <laughs> we would all go off to the side and just talk what I want, or talk with the judge, and, um, just with the attorneys and the judge and nobody else. I can't believe you wouldn't bring a camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um. Yeah, you're being a little... Mr. Wright, how cruel you are to terrorize a poor child soul. I don't care if it's trial or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody? What? Yes, do I have my camera, so what? You got a problem with that? So you did have a camera? And did you use the ca this camera? Why would I use it? I, I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well, please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. Yeah, I had my camera with me, but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The Steel Samurai goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, 
Then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong. The Steel Samurai rules. That's like no different. Ah, uh, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because they were brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? Yeah, this is actually a really legit line of questioning. How did he do it with a samurai kick and a samurai punch? Samurai champ, samurai chest, something like that. He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. Should I play this? Cody. What? Something's bothering me. Before you said you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah, so what? Yet you missed the most important part. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated that he saw it quite clearly. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me, what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap? Hmm. My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight. But you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Order, order, Mr. Wright. How could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, well, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you. You can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Okay, so I think it's the camera. Here's my proof. Yep, it was the camera. What's that? The camera? The witness stated that the recently received that he recently received the camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah, correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey, bullseye. What's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no other, no way he could just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Right. Cody? There was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? That's a leading question. Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Right. Mia means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testify once more. Very well, Cody. Could you please tell us about your camera and about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um, welcome to the real word world, kid. Aw, I feel kind of bad for him, though. Yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain, so I held up my camera to take a picture. The lens went open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened, yup. Hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure. But I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. So you did see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh... I guess the Steel Samurai was moving a little strange. Moving strangely? If I held up my camera to take a picture. Why couldn't you take a picture? My new camera has too many buttons. I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture. I really tried. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. When the lens opened, what'd you see? Uh, well, a person on the ground is Steel Samurai. That's all? Yeah, I told you, I didn't take a picture. I would have once I got that lens open. Did you really not take a picture? Not even one? Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's gotta be something here I can use. Cody, listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey! Bullseye? How, how would you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. Wow! This feels great! Pick it on this little kid? Oh my god. I feel like such a fucking empowered champion. Yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody. 
I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. You erase them? Yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved still samurai, victorious? Well, you know, why would I want to keep a picture like that? Hmm, it's becoming less and less cooperative. Better find a clear contradiction soon with some solid evidence. How can I pick holes and such? Well, yeah, there is something. Stop. Stop talking. We already know what it is. Objection! What? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Oh, right. Was it? What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Was well, damn. I got them all. I never miss one. A perfect collection. Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. I'm getting into my gentle voice. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Ah! Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. Ah, uh, I see. Nice putting words into his mouth, Phoenix. Why don't you get that as actual testimony? Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? According to, among all of his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order. Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. The fuck? Phoenix, we discovered the truth, and what a truth it is. Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually... Yes, I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Rot, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would this boy have erased the photos he took? I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth, the bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No, no way, no, it's impossible. The Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses anyone, ever. Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why, there was a reason, there was a reason why he lied and told us the, the told us he didn't take a picture. Same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose, yet to admit that he, what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. Order. I will have order. Witness. I mean, Cody, is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... <laughs> You can't handle the No truth handler are you. I decry your truth handling ability. Cody, that day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? Ah, okay, okay. You're right. The, the Steel Samurai fell down. Then he didn't move. Ah! Order, order, order. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet, according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Rot, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? The Samurai was a rich victim. If you understand what's really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, but he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. What a twist. Order, order, order. So the Steel Samurai in this photograph, you're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through this morning. 
Thus, he obviously knew about Will Power's footage. But wait, had Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Old Bag said in her testimony? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station around 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Pearl Hammer? Nope. It already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jackhammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him go to Studio One, nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and he stole the Steel Samurai costume. Well, why would a victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange, so it's a different person inside the suit. Pops! Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo on my digital camera. What? Show us quick. No way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. Now. <laughs> Here it is. This is it. Well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia, what? Look at that photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. What? Your Honor, may I see that photo one more time, please? Certainly, I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring, decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. What? Uh, Studio Two. Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly, clearly not a one, Your Honor. Correct? Oh, uh, I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But that's impossible. Uh, what's this all about? Please explain so that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. <laughs> Please explain to me this idiot judge so that I also might be shocked. <laughs> I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what we do see in this photo what what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here's the true scene of the crime. It's, it's here, right? Here, at Studio 2. I ah, see, that would explain the two at, on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it significant that the murder took place in Studio 2. As you may recall, there was a trailer in Studio 2. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. They were at the scene of the crime. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they have not have gone to Studio One. Yet in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime, Studio Two. Boom. Order, order. The defense must. The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio Two. The person that the security guard, Miss Oldbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness. Jack Hammer's the victim, the victim! Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim, Jack Hammer, stole the costume. I have proof. I mean, this isn't conclusive proof, but it's something. You do? You do, Mr. Wright? Now that they're so surprised, I'm much, suddenly I'm much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof. This is it. 
An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. Hmm. I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hacken's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we had previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Miss Obag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two, and those in the trailer did have time to commit the murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steel samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgeworth, hmm? You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor, this trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. That's actually very... Very... That direction from the judge is very interesting. Very well, court is adjourned. That was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. Me too. Really? You both seem so confident. Ah, maybe I should take up a career in acting? I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Yeah, you don't tell your clients that. Me too! You dead? Oh, of course, we're kidding. I, I, I'm, I'm not. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. No. Now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation, but I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Right, thanks. I feel so bad for him. That was a close one, huh, Mia? Really? Too bad. I'm sorry I missed it. Huh? Maya? So, what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now all I need is a motive and proof. Wow, good going, Nick. Under the initial trial system, tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? That's the new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up. So under that system, trials have to end in three days? And get scheduled in like two days. Really screwing over the defense. Yeah, pretty much. Well, we've, well, we've no time to waste. Mr. Wright, you did really... Well again today, thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? Wow, Nick, you must have really wowed them in there. Could you and could you wipe that grin off your face? Hey, WP! Only one day left. Let's make a count. Yes. Though there's not really anything I can do to help. Ha 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 ha! I'm not really sure what I can do either. Please, this please, this is no laughing matter. Can you tell me more about Miss Vaxes? Oh, the producer. She's well respected in the industry. I say she's a genius. A genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, no one dares tell her different these days. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios is on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and. And what? And nothing. Forget it. I won't hear rumors anyhow. Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manella? Oh, he used to be a, a minor straight to video director, but something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. He brought the Steel Samurai idea to him, now everyone knows the name Sal Manella. He is pretty much at her beck and call, though. Whenever she says jump, he says, how high, and all that. I can imagine him being at her beck and call, though I can't imagine him jumping. I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh, yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in the business. But he just stopped taking on big roles. That's when he began procuring a little production at Global. 
How could you do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel of Samurai Summer. You just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Miss Vasquez came to Global. Five years ago. <laughs> the old windbag sure is quiet today. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick? I think your god's down. Yeah? I bet we could even eat these donuts at the god station if we wanted. You eat, you die. Woo! She's alive! Um, I was wondering about D. Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio big ones love her! So she always gets her way. She seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Oh, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Can I ask you about Salmonella, the director? Sal, he's soft, pushover. Does whatever Vasquez tells him to do. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Ooh. Oh, why would anyone like being treated like dirt? It doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Uh, no. No, it doesn't, Maya. About Mr. Hammer. Ah, I hear about what you said today. Cheeky whippersnapper. Poor old Hammer. You dry and start off from this guy to stop on it. Calling him a criminal and thief. I, 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 I won't forget this. Oh, she's really pissed this time. You listen to me, Whippersnapper. My poor old Hammer never do such a thing. Why would he steal powers of costume so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low. It's impossible. I guess they're not filming today either. I didn't want to see them filming just one time. Dude, of course they're not. There's is a fucking murder investigation going on. This trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. I guess. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if there's any other clues lying around. Yeah! No, 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 no touching. Eek! Don't get pissed at me that you didn't do your fucking job the first time, you douchebag. Oh, sorry, pal. I didn't mean to frighten you. I didn't mean? I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I guess I can be a little dramatic at times. Dramatic. I suppose the actor in me. Dramatic indeed. Hemp. Anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on that table. What? Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces thereof. So you're really looking for traces of the sleeping pills? How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. With my eyeballs. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to these sleeping pills, see? If there are traces, it'll change color. Wow, neat. Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Now, now. Everything in due time, pal. Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, all right. So the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. How goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it. But I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. How is Edgeworth doing, anyways? Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room when he crushed this paper cup with a hot, hot coffee in it. Whoa. Talk about burns, pal. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth! Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups, bottles? Say, whatever happened with that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim, Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. So that means... Yep, sounds like the one who put powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right. Sleep. Well, okay, but if they admit that he was asleep, then he almost certainly couldn't have been the killer just by that admission, right? Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... What? Why? But WP's innocent! Yes, and I'm really grateful for all you've done, but... This week is the last episode of The Steel Samurai. What? No! <laughs> I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Steel Samurai costume too! What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh, 
I guess the rumor must be true then. The rumor? Yeah, Mr. Vasquez, the producer, had some kind of hold on Hammer. He had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she'd said, apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt. You know, bad stuff. Um, I do I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie, movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. Film set? Is that trailer part of the film set, then? What do you mean, the last samurai? The last steel samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the steel samurai's death warrant. No! No! Also, I heard that Global Studios is going to change the program. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. What? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Why aren't they going to make kids shows anymore? Studio bigwigs don't want to steal Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. They want it quiet, you understand. How can they just do that? What about all the kids who love to steal Samurai? It's okay, I'm sure the kids will be fine. We'll find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true! If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. Nick, say something! Uh, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. And this is... Fan collected, uh, a fan collected all these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show wouldn't be the can- It shouldn't be canceled just so some adults can save face. And I would think you would understand that better than anyone. You're right. Okay, but what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Did you tell us about what happened five years ago? Well, I can't- I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently five years ago someone died, and it was Hammer's fault. Someone died? It was an ask it was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Ms. Vasquez, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Mr. Ha and that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer? And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vasquez asked him to do. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid about what could happen to his career if word got out. I see. You know you know who knows more about this, Miss Old Bag? She was here at the studios back then, you know. Hey, we'll try asking her. She'll talk. Well, you're still sticking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take it over for me? Yo, windbag doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darnest for good hammer. Who do you think base two is what it is today? Hammer! It's Audrey the Hammer! She's starting the froth at the mouth, Nick. <laughs> Maybe we should keep a safe distance? Um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Who told? Who'd you hear that from? I, uh, huh? Nichols! Nichols? Nichols? Nichols. Nick. Penny Nichols. Oh, I just got that name. Wow, I'm an idiot. I did not catch that the first time. That assistant we talked to. Oh, oh, right. Anyway, we heard about that the accident. It was during the filming with Jack Hammer. He killed the man, didn't he? Whippers, snappers, dredging up dirt on someone's past like that, and the recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun? No, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume? You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume? Hmm. Sorry, Miss Oldbag, but I do have that. Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes, yeah, so? This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on that plate. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Miss Oldbag? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. Miss Oldbag? You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, the paparazzi took a photo of it. 
That Frodo, well, it caused quite a stir. I guess who made it all better? Vasquez. She has ties to the Mafia. She silenced that paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be working with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand, poor old Hammer never meant to harm anyone. Miss Old Bag. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Old Bag. Here, take this. Photograph? Oh. Oh, shit. That's why the one thing's bent. Wait a second. This is the picture. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with a bad guy on top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor and the man fell under the flower box fence. But how did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Thank you. Hey, Nick, it's Miss Vasquez. Hello? Mm. Hello? Mm. He hello? Maya, you should at least try to be polite. Mm. I'm, I'm watching the clouds. That's all she had to say, apparently. Um, excuse me, Mr. Hammett came here on the day of the murder and... Shh. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something, Nick. She's really ticking me off. Oh, dear. Um, Mr. Powers wasn't the killer. You don't have to cancel the Steel Samurai. I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You, you did it. Nick, she did it. She's the killer. My fey blood speaks to me. I know it. I know it. Oh, dear. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me about Mr. Manella. If you must talk about that man, perhaps you could talk about it in the trailer? By yourselves? Oh, oh dear. It's not even looking. Where? <laughs> what? Where did you get that? I, well. Old bag. Old? She means the security lady, Nick. Miss Old Bag, Nick. Right. Anyway. Miss Vasquez, you hit this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. Wind. The, the huh? Got the stronger, don't you think? The wind. Conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Nick, she went inside the trailer. I don't want to go inside the trailer. Oh, I thought she was going to murder me. Mm, you came. Are you fucking kid? You j- Okay. And then, what was that you- what was that you were talking about? Why is he so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Vasquez, you were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you can control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kids shows for petty change. I'm a blackmailer now. Well, that was it, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident, but you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star. Oh? I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went south, south, went sour. Well, I guess sour or south, both were. Mr. Hammer's career went south of its own accord. What? You were the cause. You pressured him. I think it was just an accident. Excuse me. What is this all about? You keep saying accidents, accidents. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think. What would it be if it wasn't? An accident. Weren't an accident? No. No way! You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? That is what I mean. Where's your proof? Can you prove it? <laughs> Just think. You have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident. And if I ran him hard, believe you. And I ran him hard, believe you me. But the security lady said it was an accident. Of course she was. She's a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hand, she did. Gave him a few bruises, too. That's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy, but he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me. Now. What? This is valuable evidence! 
boys. <laughs> oh, fuck! Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt, no? Why should D. Vasquez care about it at all? I'm sure you have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long, friends. Boys, a race away. No! Hold it right there. I heard everything, pal. D. Vasquez, you're coming down to the precinct with me now. Not bad. Very well. Here's this contest we'll decide tomorrow, then. I'll be looking forward to it. Sorry, I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Detective Gumshoe. Thank you, thank you, thank you! I was really scared. Huh? Don't mention that, pal. Just doing my job. Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just... I've wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. Okay. I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. Well, Nick, looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? D. Vasquez. Court is now in session for the- Oop, shit. Shit. Fuck, sorry, Your Honor. I'll be ready in a second. Okay. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecutor and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. Again. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was in fact Studio 2. Today we will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. <laughs> Get it? You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Will the witness state her name and occupation? Yes, cause I'm a producer at Globus for Globus Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. I dislike needless banter. You must pontificate. Do it when I'm not here. Um, uh, very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. I entered the trailer oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at noon, at 12 sharp, and it ended at 4. I'm trying to sound really bored. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio Two. Yeah, exactly. Everything needs to be stated for the record. It can't just be assumed that it's in the record. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk with that monkey's head toppling over. I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. I'm just gonna press around fucking everything. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in at the employee area? No. Are you always this... dice? Yes. Oh dear. This is the best witness. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. The same could be said, of, said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. And please stop banging on your little desk, it hurts my ears. 
Oh my god, she is hysterical. She is shitting all over Edward. What exactly was that? I've forgotten. Maybe you could try remembering? No. <laughs> the meeting ended at four, and the rehearsal was scheduled for five. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Ed. Do you have something, someone who can verify this? No. N no, I mean someone else? One person is enough. She committed murder during that break. You wouldn't have had the time to eat a T-bone steak. I had some evidence that she proved she didn't eat that steak. Objection! Actually show them? Give us this one. Ha! As I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. What's this now, Mr. Rat? Look at this. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Reich, need I remind you that it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will. Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. Yet there was no bones left on the plates. How would they fucking know that? You don't have the plate to bring in or even a picture of the outdoor... Okay, that's weird. That's kind of weird. No wonder I was like, what? Why, why would this plate be the evidence that they need when really we need the other plate but oh i guess we can just say and outside there are plates and there's no bones on them and everybody just goes oh okay you're you're 100 telling the truth because we've all been there to see it or have a picture of it or the plates themselves which we don't the plates were bare miss vasquez tell me how can a person eat a t-bone steak and not leave the bone I think I know how. You threw it away. You ate the bone, too. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere. Like the like that incinerator. Ah, uh, I see. Then what was Mr. Vasquez... Mr. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order. Are you saying yes, Your Honor? As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. Mr. Right. Isn't that a little presumptuous? Most of this game is really presumptuous. What kind of stunts are you trying to pull, right? You can't go objection and go, what kind of stunts are you trying to pull? Give us, what's your actual objection? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let's have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh, yes. The samurai spear. Yes? I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How can I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? Not impossible. Nope, that was... Well, maybe it's not impossible, but silence. I'm speaking. <laughs> the victim was stabbed the chest from the front, yes. I believe this would indicate that the victim was aware of the killer's presence. Now the steel samurai costume is quite light and mobile. Compared to the victim, I am weaker and slower. I couldn't possibly win such a fight. Not to mention there is proof I did not have the spear. Man, I love how she's like leading her own defense instead of the actual prosecutor. The photograph of the steel samurai shows that the victim himself is holding or do you mean to suggest that I could have rested, rested it away from you? Yeah, take that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck you. If you still think she did it, show us proof. Um, but... Hey, Nick, look at the data we have on the samurai spear in the court record. Isn't there something there that gets to you? Something odd about the samurai spear? Wait, something the matter, Mr. Wright? Sorry, Your Honor. I'd like to take back my previous claim. Very well, I won't hold you to your claim, but I'm afraid I will have to penalize you. 
What's this? You're taking back your claim? Let's backtrack for a moment. I want to consider whether the witness could have used the samurai spear or not. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning, the samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not the used as the murder weapon. I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. But that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that this spear broke during the morning. Oh, I completely forgot about that. The, the spear broke during the morning action scene run through. That would have made sense though. I would have chose a different option had I remembered that. But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Order, order. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're... Silence. I'm the one testifying here and I will be heard. Ugh. That would never be allowed. It's hilarious, though. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? The samurai spear was not the word of member than pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? Look at this photo. What is this? Why, wow, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Order, order. If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Rot, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this is leaked to the outside. It was a close kept secret at the studio. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it? See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? What? Are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again. Mr. Rot, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack, Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence, just like Mr. Hammer had done five years ago himself. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. In other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die? Five years ago? Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Oh, very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of argument that Mr. Hammer died at the trailer, as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no doubt. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and then returned to the trailer all in the space of 10 minutes? 15 minutes. How could I have disposed of the body? A break in the meeting at the trail lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 4, 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Rat, how could she have dealt with the body? What if she had another way to carry the body other than with her own hands? For instance... Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Rat, please show us how she carried the body. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One. And you used the studio van to do it. Recall your testimony. To be a rehearsal afterwards, we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I'd Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I'd Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the magistrate costume. Attention! Hold on, right? Don't forget it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? 
Of course Salmonella has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put in the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No, Nathan. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. I lose. You win. It was... It was fun. I win? She just fucking... Yep, you did. I did it. Good job. Um... So, what happens next? Don't question... Don't... Uh, me? Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that? I just said that. Wait, so you mean... D. Vasquez, so it was you? You killed Jack Hammer? Who can say? Huh? You sure I did? Mr. Wright? You just engaged in a battle of wits and the result of that battle? You proved the pro you proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. Right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 Order, Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Um, uh, of course, it's as the witness says. Certainly, it does seem like very likely she did it, but uh, there's no proof. But we don't fucking care. All we're worried about is that our client gets off scot-free. And if there's no proof that she killed, that she, if there's no proof that she killed the guy, then there certainly isn't any proof that our client did it. Like, seriously, this... Whole trial doesn't, like, we shouldn't even be here anymore. Once we prove that he was drugged with sleeping pills, that should have been it. Case is missed. He obviously couldn't have done it because he was sleeping the whole time. But we're still here. Because the judge is like, all right, Mr. Wright, everyone else here is incompetent, including me. So now I'm going to have to have you do the investigation all yourself and become the prosecutor. Well... I came here as a witness today. If you have no more questions, I'll be leaving. What do I do now? I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. This is the truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? You'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. It's actually kind of true. Damn. 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 As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. Oh. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. I see. Very well. Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. Adverse witness. I, I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Well, yes, um... Indeed, verily I say, ergo... I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning the matter. <laughs> Nick, why did Edgeworth... Who knows? Probably realized she did it too. But, but, wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that... Edgeworth. Edgeworth. I was with Sal and old bag, the security lady when we found the body. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers should have. The security lady, old bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying, He did it! I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes, then I went home. Yeah, because 
The script and notes really meant anything after one of the stars fucking died. I see no issue raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick, we're close, real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. What time was that? You would mean at five o'clock for the rehearsal, so I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Miss? When exactly did you and Mr. Manella arrive at the studio? About ten minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies in the costumes, mind you. Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well, then you could have put Hammer in that costume with Mr. with, with Salmonella's help. Oh. What did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into any costumes? You should try to listen to what people are saying, boy. Boy? The witness will continue a testimony. The system was there too, only Powers was absent. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? No, he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember what? There's a dead body lying in front of us. Yeah, do you expect me to be calm? You certainly seem calm enough when I accuse you of murder, and when you threaten to kill me! Wait a second, wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around? You discovered a murdered body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm. I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez, <laughs> logically speaking, perhaps, but no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without his steel samurai costume, Powers didn't really stand out. He often left him on the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed he was missing. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you actually shitting my nuts here? That dude sticks out like a sore thumb. Yeah. Well, I suppose that explains it. No, it does not. Whatever. Very well, Miss Vasquez. You may continue. Direction. Why would you need either of those things when person when a person just died? And you obviously would not be finishing that episode. Yes, they're quite valuable. You wouldn't want them to be stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Oh, well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder, after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh, yeah, I guess. Very well. Miss Vasquez, please continue. Your Honor, I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think. Miss Vasquez says she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She wouldn't have. She wouldn't. She would have had to know about the murder before going into Studio One. Well done. Order, order, Mr. Edgeworth. What you, what you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Because I'm only here for the truth, Your Honor. Not to put any specific person away. Or not to put any old person away, but to put the right person away. Let's see if he makes an impassioned speech like that. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense? What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. This is a really interesting situation. I have no idea how this would play out. I think the prosecution would almost have to simply accept a dismissal if they really think it was the witness who did it, accept the, the, the defense motions to dismiss, the prosecution accepts it, then brings formal charges separately against that witness. Instead of it all happening in one, you know, hearing itself. So there are situations where they can both gang up on a witness if the, if the witness is being um, uh, uncooperative. The person that called it, because I've seen it where a prosecutor called a witness and then the witness turned out to be thoroughly unhelpful once they got on the stand. 
So then the pro then the prosecutor asks for that witness to then be considered an adverse witness, essentially meaning that we are not call we didn't call that witness, and now we can treat that witness differently. And so then both the prosecution and the defense could go after the wit the witness in a similar way. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reasoning. She will change her testimony for convenience sake. And I won't hold it against her at all. I knew that hammer was injured and couldn't do any action behind the scenes, so I left them behind. How'd you know about the injury? How did I know? It's out. He told me. Yeah, there it is. You knew that Hammer was injured. Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. What? Mr. Rod, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo, but that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. P pretending One person was injured in the run through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? I, I already said it was it was Sal who told me. That's right. I must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez. You saw Mr. Hammer limping. You didn't, actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah. And when was he doing this? Well, it would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2 where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in that Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Booyah! Order, order. I will have order. Witness, can you refute this claim? And, uh, hmm. Yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Oh god. Why are we the why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world will I want Mr. Hammer dead? Guess he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there was a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In any words, can you in other words, can you prove she had a motive? This is my proof. This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial. It began on that day five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident precip precipitated uh, Mr. Hammer's fall. Precipitated. Precipitated. I said precipitated. Precipitated. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt, onto the spear. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Bringing us to the present day in Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly it was a constant source of shame for the X-Star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Rat. We are talking about motives here, yet you you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if as if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain to this to this Miss Vasquez's motive of the court. She had no motive, Your Honor. 
All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? What? Your Honor. Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady and thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. So you did do it, didn't you? Yes, I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance. There's blood everywhere. We're too late. Oh, Miss Vasquez. What? What happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. Manuel, Manuel. Miss Vasquez, please try to stay calm. No, no. How could this? It was an ac It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene in. No, Manuel, Manuel. Don't touch, don't touch him, Miss Vasquez. No! <laughs> please, please don't die. Please. Was that like her lover or something? Husband? Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again. Mr. Edgeworth. Where's D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, your honor, as calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes, yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, not guilty. I want confetti to rain down every time I win a case. That is all. This court is adjourned. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez. But to think that he tried to frame me for the murder, it makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me, what did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? What? No evidence? Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer would have put the blame on you because... Because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once, but he was reduced to acting in a kid's show, and as a villain to boot. Kids love the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I, I think I understand. He could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I, so am I. Congratulations, WP. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back in that sweaty costume, man. Um, awkward. Nobody's told him. Is there something wrong? No, no, of course, of course not. Ah! Nick, Edgeworth! What up, bruh? Say something, right? The fuck, you came up to me! Will you come up to me and be like, well, say something. I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Oh, uh, pleased to meet you, I'm Powers. Uh, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar! Right, I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I am saddled with unnecessary feelings. Unnecessary feelings? Yes, unease and uncertainty. 
Aren't those kinds of necessary? <laughs> they only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. Well, I can't really help it unless I just don't practice criminal law here anymore. Because apparently you're the only fucking prosecutor in this entire area. Oh, um, Mr. Wright, was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if. They're rivals. Rivals! Right, Nick? For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick, tell me! What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? And so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. Pink Princess! Nick, this is it! The new show starts today, you're gonna watch it with me, right? I don't know, I was kinda surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know, I don't think the world is ready for the real will powers. Well, if it's the Pink Princess, is he the Pink Princess? A progressive. <laughs> 